For many years, viruses have plagued our race, but some of the worst viruses are transmitted by mosquitoes. Until recently, we have had few ways to defend ourselves against these bugs and the diseases that ride them. Using publicly available data from reliable sources, I hypothesize that at the rate of the spread of mosquito-borne viruses, the only hope for mankind is urgent action such as genetically modifying mosquitoes that will reduce the mosquito population. First, we need to know about the nature of viruses. When first looked at, viruses don't seem to be alive, like humans, plants, and bacteria. But this is not true. Viruses may be more intelligent than other organisms, considering that they use the DNA of other organisms to reproduce themselves and produce more viruses. Somehow, they either push into or latch onto the organisms they use to produce more viruses. To create more viruses, they inject their RNA, which hijacks the DNA of the organism. I am now declaring that the recent cluster of microcephaly and other neurological abnormalities reported in Latin America following a similar cluster of French Polynesia in 2014 constitutes a public health emergency of international concern. Now that we know a little more about viruses and the way they reproduce, we can analyze the spread of viruses caused by mosquitoes. Let's use the Zika virus as a subject of the measurement. Just this year, 23 countries have been infected by the Zika virus. And there are now, at the end of the first trimester of 2016, over 1 million cases of individuals infected by the Zika virus. If the virus continues to spread at the same rate, the World Health Organization, WHO, estimates that by the end of the year, there will be about 4 million cases of the Zika virus. If the spread of the Zika virus continues at exactly the same rate, with no other variables, 4 million new people will be infected every year. It would take 1,750 years to infect the entire world population of about 7 billion. Of course, during that very long period of time, generations of people would, will die and new people will replace them, which means that there will always be healthy people, so it may not look scary or like an epidemic. However, if there are other conditions, such as the weather pattern continuing to change with extreme weather and global warming, the mosquito population will swell. If the rate of Zika infections doubles because the mosquito population doubles, it will take half the time for the whole population to be infected. That is to say, 875 years. In a worse scenario, if the mosquito population swells in a huge manner and gets multiplied by 10, and if there are consequently 10 times as many cases of Zika infections as there are now, it will only take 1,750 years divided by 10, 175 years for the entire world to be infected. Conditions associated with this year's El Nino weather pattern are expected to increase mosquito populations greatly in many places. The level of concern is high, as is the level of uncertainty. In theory, it could get even worse. Instead of growing at a consistent rate, linear growth, the mosquitoes and therefore the viruses they carry could grow even more rapidly, exponentially, at the second, then third, then fourth power, which is extremely powerful as this example demonstrates. Here's the example. In year one, 10 mosquitoes infect 10 people each, which is 100 people infected. Then in year two, the mosquito population multiplies by 10, 100 mosquitoes, and they each infect 10, which is 1,000 people. If it continues in this fashion, in nine years, the entire world population will be infected. Since the spread of the Zika virus is relatively new, although it has been recognized since the 1930s, Scientists need to wait and see what happens with the spread of the virus in the Americas in the next few months and years to figure out 
to which extent it needs to be fought. However, we know that there are over 3,500 species of mosquitoes and that these insects are very dangerous as they kill close to half a million people per year just from malaria. So whether mosquitoes are directly connected to the large increase in cases of Zika or not, we know that they are one of the carriers of the Zika virus. We already know that they spread a number of other viruses, yellow fever, dengue, West Nile virus, etc., that may affect many people. Therefore, I think that we need to support the scientists who are working on innovative solutions like genetically modifying mosquitoes. Captured male mosquitoes are injected with DNA that kills 95% of their offspring when they are released back into the wild to mate. This should be in addition to other ways of reducing the mosquito population like killing larvae with pesticides, sterilizing mosquitoes, and infecting them with some bacteria that limits their disease spreading power. Innovative solutions like genetically modifying mosquitoes are needed to help regulate their population and therefore reduce the chance for virus spreading infections in the population without totally killing the species. This is why it is important to get rid of today's virus by controlling the bug of tomorrow.